Hi guys, uh, welcome to Monday, uh, March 13th. March 13th. March 13th. What? We have quite a big day for you planned. Um, we're gonna start today with some squatting. So the rep scheme for the squats are gonna be 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Um, we're gonna try and increase weight if you can um, throughout each set. Uh, you have the option though to choose if you're gonna do front squat, back squat, you can overhead squat. Um, maybe you want to do you know, a version of a goblet squat, um, but again, if you have the ability to increase weight, that would be great um, as you kind of decrease in reps. If not, we're going to add tempo to those squats. Um, so if you're going to keep the same weight for all of those sets, uh, maybe increase the amount of tempo or the amount of time under tension that you're holding those squats or completing those squats um, as you go down in reps. So maybe the tens start around like a two second tempo on the way down and then on the way up. And then as you kind of inc or decrease in reps, you're going to increase in tempo. So maybe the, the four and the two, um, you're increasing your tempo to something like six seconds or seven seconds on the way down, and then the same thing on the way up. Um, after you finish the squatting, you're going to do a rear foot elevated split squat. Um, so this is a single leg squat with the non-working leg elevated on something like a chair or a box um, or maybe a weight, but lift that thing off the ground. Um, that's going to add a little bit more stability and balance to that front foot. Um, again, just like we normally um, talk about in class, make sure we're driving through the heel of that front foot. Uh, and then you're going to do three sets of eight on each leg. Uh, and then you're going to alternate um, whatever hand is holding either the dumbbell or the kettlebell uh, after four reps. So you'll do four reps in your right hand and then you'll switch and do four reps in your left hand. And that'll all be for that same leg and then you'll switch legs from there. Um, that's three sets of eight again on each leg. The workout that we have planned is called Easter Bunny. It's a old school eight day workout. I haven't done it in a while, right? So we're gonna throw this one at you. Um, it has front squats and then some jumping. Um, so the RX version is 10 front squats, 20 hurdle hops, uh, eight front squats, 30 hurdle hops, six front squats, 40 hurdle hops, four and 50, and then two and 60. Um, the RX weight is 135 on the barbell for the guys and then 95 for the ladies. RX plus version, the hurdle hops turn to double unders uh, and the weight goes up to 155 for the guys and 105 for the ladies. Um, but you cannot squat clean the first rep off of the floor. So you have to power clean the bar all the way up to full extension and then start your front squats from there. So it goes front squat, jumping, and you're alternating all the way down to 2 and 60. Um, the sum equipment version is the same rep scheme, except for front squats, you're gonna do goblet squats, um, and then everything else is the same. So the hurdle hops for the RX version, and the RX plus version is with double unders. The no equipment version for this workout changes the rep scheme um, as well as the movement. So for the squatting aspect of the workout, you're gonna do air squats, right, instead of front squats or goblet squats, and then the jumping portion is gonna be line hops. Um, you can choose to do either front and back, or front to back, or side to side. Um, but the rep scheme is 30 and 30, so 30 squats, 30 line hops, and then you're gonna do 24 air squats and 45 line hops, 18 air squats, 60 line hops, we'll do 12 and 75, and then six and 90. Um, all three versions, the workout is for time, and you know what's coming next. Get after it. 